for those who don't know i'm opportune i'm privileged to be sitting very close to the greatest batsman in Kenya's history second best wicket taker in Kenya's history steve ogonji tikolo the coach of the national team of nigeria and the high performance manager Kochi, good evening good evening to you i've seen you working your socks up since morning how has it been with the boys i know you started working with them on monday how has it been it's been good uh, we've had a good week like you said we started on monday monday was just a day where the morning session was about knowing the players uh talking about the team where we want the team to go and uh, what brand of cricket we want to play then monday afternoon we had a light session tuesday we had uh, two games t20 practice matches it was a chance for me to see the boys under a competitive uh, environment and then wednesday we had a morning where we discussed the two games we played on tuesday then had another training session in the afternoon thursday we watched the south africa pakistan game in the morning as a team for me i believe when you watch cricket you learn a lot and you can pick things that can help your game then uh, thursday afternoon we played a trial match yesterday friday we had a team discussion about the game we played and uh, the match south africa played pakistan and then they had a, an afternoon free just to get them ready for today's matches then today the players who were free who didn't have a match we had a training session since morning it was a one on one on one session and i think the week has gone very well for us i'm starting to see a lot of things in the players that are very pleasing in terms of their talents and skills and so for us is just to work on those talents sharpen their skills and you know look to become a very good team tikolo you have played at the highest level i remember back in 2003 when south africa kenya zimbabwe all co-hosted the world cup kenya got to the semi-final and was narrowly beaten by india that game how did you take that game after that loss well uh like you said you know we had a very good team we had a very good run in the 2003 world cup getting to the semi-finals i think uh, along the way we beat some very good teams obviously losing to india in the semi-finals uh was disappointing of course many thought that kenya would lose in that game you know we we, we went into the game as underdogs but we in our camp knew we were there to compete and obviously India walked away with victory. They are very good. They were a very good side then. They are still a very good side. But for us, uh, as Kenya, getting to the semi-finals was was a very good achievement for us in terms of looking at we are an associate country while we were playing against test uh, test countries. But uh, at the back of our minds, we knew we could do well in that tournament right from the beginning. I remember when we got to South Africa, the first press conference, I was asked by some of the journalists, so are you guys here to compete or just to take part? And I told him we are here to compete. I was that confident in my team that we were there to compete. And uh, it was shown by how we performed in that particular tournament. Tikolo, you are a hard worker. I've seen you do that. Where do you intend to take Nigerian cricket national team too as the coach and the high performance manager well for me i believe uh, hard work pays and you know nothing comes easy you you know you've got to sweat for for your successes uh and that is how i i, I like to work with the teams that i've worked with you put in the hard yards you get the results and that is the character that i want to bring to the nigerian team i want the players to understand that if they work hard they're giving themselves a chance to do well and that's why you see like today we had a session since morning i've been here working with the boys uh like i said i want to sharpen their skills and uh, turn them into a very competitive side a side that can compete with anyone in the world so for me i'm looking to take nigeria cricket forward to become a team that can compete with any team 
Tikolo, you saw this team last year, November, when they came for the regional finals, uh, both at um, Independent Polytechnic Regional College and at Gahanga Cricket Stadium. And I'm sure that you are trying to do a lot of things um, now in addition. So what what do you what do you see then, and what are you trying to do now? Uh, the team I saw in Rwanda, from the onset I saw I saw talent, but again uh, I could sense there was fear. They, you know they were playing their cricket fearfully instead of expressing themselves. So for me that we we need to take away that fear, but we'll take away that fear by us practicing more, getting accustomed to different uh, situations of the game, match awareness and all that. I also need to bring uh, belief in the team that you know we, we are good players and, and we can compete with anyone. But that has to be backed up by the work ethic. When you work right, you work smart, you become a good team. Kochi, you are leaving Nigeria to go to Zimbabwe before you join it to Rwanda for a tournament from the 1st to the 9th of uh, December. And you've got some teams like Cameroon, like uh, uh, Ghana, like Tanzania, Mozambique, and all these other countries. Only the top two qualifies for the final phase where we have Namibia and Uganda. What are the assurances that you are promising Nigerians going to the tournament in Rwanda? Yeah, first and foremost, I think the tour to Zimbabwe is in the pipeline. Uh, the Nigeria Cricket uh, Federation is working to get us to Zimbabwe. Right now things are at the early stages of organizing that trip. And if it comes through, you know, it will be very good for the team to get those practice matches in Zimbabwe before we go to Rwanda. And in Rwanda, yes, uh, it's a eight nation tournament. Like you said, we I think we'll, we will face Ghana, we'll face Tanzania, Mozambique, uh, Cameroon, Seychelles and all the likes. Yeah. So the top two teams go to the next round and for me what I want from that tournament is for Nigeria to be amongst the two teams that go to the next stage. When you do that it means you're getting extra matches in the next stage and uh, it also gives you a chance to compete in the next stage for the World Cup qualifiers proper. So for me I would want us to be part of the two teams that go forward. I will be sad within myself if I don't ask you where did you get the nickname Gunzi Guns from <laughs> and what does Gunzi Guns mean? Uh, it's, uh, it, it's Ganzi. Uh, it's a uh, concussion of Guns. Guns means, uh, okay, I was, I was given the name by my teammates. Uh, one of my teammates is uh, he's late. May his soul rest in place. Amen. Uh, he's uh, Martin, Martin Odumbe, one of the Odumbe brothers. Is the one who gave me that name because of uh, how hard I used to hit the ball, and when the ball left my bed, it travelled like a bullet. Yo, guns, so, guns. Yeah, so that that's the that's where the name guns comes from. It's like a gun shooting a bullet. So the ball used to come from my bed like a like a bullet. Finally, Kochi, you have played at the highest level. This World Cup taking place in Australia. Australia have been knocked out and uh, we know they are the defending champion if you are to pitch your tent who will take it at the end of the day people are mentioning south africa people are mentioning england there is still an india somewhere if you are to put your smart money on a team who will you be looking at it's really a tough one uh, there are quite a number of good teams left there there's england there's new zealand yeah. those two have qualified there's South Africa, there's uh, India. I think, I don't know if Pakistan have an outside chance, but uh, I would say it's between England and India. No chance for South Africa? South Africa, I would want them to go through, but looking at how the other teams are, I would say between Indians and England. We've been speaking to the high performance manager and the coach of the national team of Nigeria, Steve Ogonji Tikolo Gonzi Guns. So whenever you hear that word Gonzi Guns, it means the man that strikes the ball so hard he is the greatest batter in Kenya's history and the second best bowler in Kenya's history. I want to say thank you very much for your time, Kochi. 
I will wish you all the best in your quest to take Nigeria cricket to the next level. Amen. And thanks, thanks for having me. Thank you. We are the size of the.